Hi everyone, my name's Sophia. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. <sighs> I always think to myself, what could I possibly keep recording? But this twin flame journey, loads to record. So this video is going to be about um, the tough times because <laughs> twin flame journey can be challenging. So I speak about the laws of this planet uh, within this channel but I don't really pinpoint so I've been more guided to pinpoint Pacific so that you know when I'm explaining situations to you to help you along with your journey that I am um, actually stating a law of the planet that will help you and guide you because you as a twin flame are the teachers to everyone so what I want to tell you about in this video is about um when the shit hits a fan, when the bad times, there's an energy going on at the moment. Actually, it was in this community that's kind of kicked off. It started with me, um, beginning of this year, and then other things are happening with the community. The, and so if you lot are in the community, you might be hearing stuff. Um, because we are the teachers, we are showing you how it kind of works so i want to go into what's been happening with me with um person on my channel raquel and others in the community i'm not pinpointing anyone particular and stuff like that but i want to explain why stuff happens i also want to start by stating what happens with uh twin flames is that they work on themselves, they find someone, they find me, particularly a lot with me, I don't know, well, no, it doesn't happen with other people because they they chat shit. <laughs> they talk about inner work, but they don't talk about proper inner work. So what happens a lot with me is people start, they get the program, or they just do the stuff in the playlist, and their person comes towards them. Then what happens is they go off, they do their own thing, and then their person runs or it they break up and stuff like that now um what happens is because i'm so blatant i'm so fresh i presume this might not be they might be just embarrassed they don't come back so i want to state because this is going to be titles you know um you know when a shit hits a fan or something like that you know i haven't thought of it yet i'll, I'll think of it afterwards um this is quite normal and um, don't feel embarrassed or feel I'm going to have a go at you or well, you should have done the work or anything like that. This is quite normal for a twin flame situation for you to have more stops and starts and stuff like that because we are the teachers. This is very important for you to kind of understand. I state this on a couple of readings I had. I've done Earth and Air. I'm going to do the others, you know, next two days. Um, but that's regardless because it depends when you watch this video. But I state about, um, about the laws of the planet. I talk about middle ground. I talk about all this other kind of stuff. But when the shit hits a fan, really, we are the teachers so that we can show others how to then deal with situation when the shit hits the fan so when your person is coming and coming the old wave of the twin flames they kind of molded their way around the situation to third dimensional i'm just going to state it how it is manipulate their person by either marrying them to stay with them then they go off and cheat and stay with someone else something like that or they're never together that's why there's not a lot of them up there they come on and oh this is my person this is my person and then the person goes so they don't come back right or uh, so they or, or they marry them and then they're they're unhappy because they've treated it like a soulmate or um or, or all sorts of third dimension and kind of stuff that's what happened the old way this way is to show you how to deal with it properly and they're trying to keep you strong so with this community with stuff going off and stuff like that um it's quite normal because we are teaching you that we are individual and stuff happens now i want to talk about the stuff that's happening the stuff we're not in actually you know i'll give my example what happened with me but you can see it's happening with other people the law of this planet is either or and i always talk about that 
black, white, hot, cold, negative, positive, as within, so without. So the good news is that when you see stuff happens to me, happens to people on my subscription list, the good news is that what is happening with them is that they are working on themselves. Here's why. And this is, this is very important that you understand this. And this is why I say shit, positive happens, but negative happens. It is the law of the planet. This, this is very important that you hear this. The law of the planet, there is both. The reason why there is both is because this planet is for you to experience it. That's why. But what is the purpose of me and why am I here? You are here to experience this planet. This is why you've forgotten your twin flame purpose, who you are, question yourself and all that, because this is an experience. If you knew, then you wouldn't experience. This planet is for, an, uh, for the experience, okay? How do you know what you want to experience it? The wanting is the love frequency. You are here to explore, experience planet Earth and your experiences of what your wishes and desires are, your love. You were born with that, right? It's manipulated, but I'm hoping not to go into that. So that is the natural thing that you want. So how would you know what you wanted without the negative to show you? So you, this planet's laws, okay, we'll give you shit, right? <laughs> so, oh, okay, that shit. I don't like that job. So I'm going to go for another job, for example, right? That's what the negative shows up in your life, right? Here's why you are different as a teacher. I'm not different than anyone else, but this is why you're twin flame, let's just say, right? Because I don't like to say differences. You are here to understand the concepts of the laws of the planet, right? So you need to understand that, first of all, when negative shows up for you, it's for you to figure out a positive, not for you to say, oh, my life is shit, everything is shit, I always get shit. It's not for you to do that. It's simply for you to say, okay, for example, if your bill is high or something, higher than usual, maybe search for another, say your phone bill's higher than usual, that's shit. Do you need the phone? Maybe look, oh, you're too lazy to look for a cheaper option. There might be a cheaper option for you that's so better so you can treat yourself on something else. It shows you negative for reasons. Most just bitch and moan about the negative. That was never the intention. A negative is only a negative if you did see it as a negative. Do you see what I mean? So you have to, first of all, understand when that happens, there's a reason for it. If your person, or not your person, but your person's a different kettle of fish, I'll go into them. An next relationship is always negative and negative and negative. It's for you to figure out, um, well, I can do better, or what are they showing me? Am I bothered about it? You know, or, or so, you know, you have to figure it out. You have to figure it out. So that's one thing you have to absolutely, firstly, understand and get that. The negatives are not a negative they are here to teach you because this planet's frequency offers an experience how would you know what to experience of the frequency of love if you didn't have a positive how would you know you just get love 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 how would you know what person was for you how would you know what you would love do you get what i mean you have to have the negative so you know what the positive is here's where your person comes into that <laughs> your person shows up as the prime example of what you are here to do as a teacher. So they are thick and stuck in their structure, right, of a belief system. And that belief system is exactly the reverse of what you are here to teach people, which is they are an absolute manipulation of the elite secret societies and Illuminati, third dimensional. You are here as a twin flame to teach people, right, that you don't do it that way. It's the opposite. Generally, the elite seeker society flip it round, right? Everything they say, reverse it, and it's the truth. That's 
pretty much it, right? So they give you someone who is, I don't know how to say it without cussing off your person, and I apologize, but the worst version of the worst person you're going to get because you are the teacher, so your person is teaching you what to experience in life as a teacher, because we are here to teach everyone of something that let's just be fair uh, let's be let's be fair let's be real you are trying to teach people how their perception of what you are stating is unreal not seen not physical magic trickery it's how can you tell them that you were born with what you are what i am teaching you right but you have to teach, they, they're not manipulated that the, this, this world is real. And, you know, you work hard, then you get your money. You work hard, then you get your house. You work hard, then you get, you know, um, the car. You go through shitty relationships, then you get the perfect one. Like the telly. It's, it's a joke. I was talking about that. Jojo done a video, and I've put it in the, I think it's called the community tab about manipulation it was brilliant so please watch that that's what i love about the people on the subscription list they were all different than me and give different examples of things which i might state which might you might not get but some will say it differently and it resonates with you better so please watch her video in uh, the community tab called manipulation but anyway um hi jojo so what i want to state is your person is here teaching you we are here the old way didn't work the old way and i state this is that with the twin flames is that that you do a bit then they give you your person coming forward then that you do a bit more then your person comes forward then you do a bit more than your person but then what happens is then oh okay he's here she's here let's get married let's have kids this manipulation will will spit out a kid so that they stay we'll get married so that they stay do you see what i mean this time they're like, uh, what we're going to do is give baby steps of them moving forward, right? And to the very, very end, we only want the serious people and the hardcore people. Then your person shows up, transformed. <laughs> so pretty much shit's going to happen a lot of the time. But it's for you to recognize that they are teaching you this is what's going to happen in the real life. This is what your person is. He is an example of the stuff that you are going to be battling against. I've been talking about the laws of cause and effect, but I want to talk about a little bit about the laws of attraction in this video as well. Laws of attraction, which is like attracts like. This is what your person does, right? And this is what you are, what the majority of planet earth does right this is what if you're new what you do as well until you work on yourself with my mind and us i'm going to say mind and analysis programs then let's just say right so here's your person generally what most of humanity are programmed it's not their birth sovereign right state they're programmed not to follow their instincts their internal guidance they're programmed to seeing is believing they're programmed so seeing is believing is absolutely the reverse of what the laws of the planet because the laws of the planet is the unseen the full journey you know with the fool's card hopefully if you uh, do tarot but the fool's card is known as jumping into the unknown right so you are going to be battling as you are battling with your person, which you're not supposed to battle. We are supposed to show by example. But I'll talk about that as well, hopefully. If I need to, actually, they're telling me. But you jump into the unknown. The unknown with the fool's journey is the ether. One foot on the earthly plane, which I said at the beginning, we live off this planet Earth. The other one, that's one wand, Earth, one alchemical element. The other three wands air water fire air is air is um thought thought form and um swords swords which is thought and speak speaking is matter right 
form and matter. Form and matter is quantum physics, which is energy. So that's air. So that's why I say um, it's all ether. That's the un the fall jumps off the earthly plane into the unknown. So there's air, which is matter, right, and uh, form, thought form, emotions, caps, emotion, energy. Once again, energy, emotion, fire, fire, ether, right. So he jumps into the unknown. The unknown is this. That's what the fool's journey means. People say, I oh, would, well, you know, take a risk in life and all that. You know, you know, kind of the small version. That's what the fool's card really meant. In fact, I've got two demonstration of the fool's card in my playlist about Twin Flame Tarot. If you haven't watched that, you thought, oh, I'll just go and know about my person. That is fucking spot on about the Twin Flames journey for what you should watch. So you have the definition because we are Goddess Tarot. Goddess Tarot is Tarot, Tara Tarot. She's the high priestess. She is the actual God. Tara is Goddess in um, Tara is Tarot. And we are connected with Goddess Tarot. So we that's why we like Tarot. So please don't just watch the other two playlists. Watch about the cards because if you're connected with me, most like you, you will be watching Tarot because it's part of you, right? This part of you. Because it's learning about jumping into the unknown. Hence, one, 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 one. That's why we're connected with Twin Flame 11, 11 and all that. Earth, air, water, fire, fool's journey. Tarot is called the fool's journey. The fool, if you know, I didn't name it. It's called the fool's journey. Tarot is called the fool's journey. Is jumping into the unknown. The fool card is on the Sephora of Da, which is a hidden realm, meaning it's esoteric as well as hidden people don't know the fool's card the fool's journey in the sephora of the tree of life kabbalah is also connected with the birthing of the tree of life the fool's card has a young student boy meaning you are a fool you don't know you are teaching people who don't know in short about that long five minute demonstration rah -rahs, of the unknown it's going to be challenging is my point this is why you have the challenge with your person. So when it's good, it's good. But then it gets back to kick your ass. Well, hold on. Not everyone's going to understand you. So you, you know, so they make your person, you know, it doesn't make him do it. So it's just kind of like reminding you of the stuff that you're going to be battling against. So your person is the classic situation of how some of you are still are because you don't believe it. Oh, when I first watched Tarot on YouTube, I was in awe. How the fuck can this person read through these cards? Me. That's me. You lot take it for granted. Most take it for granted that, you know, cards can do that, let alone my image reading if you book me. It's energy, right? You have to sh tell people how t this works. You know, if, you, I, if someone asked me it, what I do, let alone 5D collective, um, I'm connected with entities, channeling, you know, all this kind of thing, let alone basic, everyone knows about tower, right? I couldn't even say tower reader. I couldn't even say twin flame advisor. I still have to say stupid arseness like relationship advisor, which is not really, you know, what I want to say, what I want to do. So, this is why it's so hard, is what I'm trying to say. They are showing you your person, uh, the hardest example, so that you learn to, oh, okay, what else can I do? Oh, okay, he doesn't get it. Let me try another way. Oh, it, this is why they're there, because they want to see the physical of it. Now, I'm talking about this is connected with, the, like I said, the core, um, principal laws, natural law not man-made stupid fuckery law like council tax no not that kind of law natural law natural law is the with the principal law of cause and effect is that you give you give you give your person thinks with their logical brain such as most well if i give a hundred percent to you then I have nothing to give to my kids. I can't give you 100%. I can't give my kids 100%. I can't give my boss 100%, right? That's what they think. 
thought form is lower energetic frequency. The thought, you live on this earthly plane. This is why 1111 one, one, one is connected with twin flames because we are here to teach how to 1111 one, one, one is all the alchemical elements. Who holds all the alchemical elements? The magician card who is at the top of the tree of life, Kitar, in the several of Kitar. So you are here as a twin flame with 1111 one, 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 learning how to use all those alchemical elements, which is the magician card, who is at the top of the tree of the life. The top of the tree of life is the cosmic. So connecting with as above the planetaries, the microcosmic, the, uh, um, uh, the macro, sorry, the macrocosmic and the micro as above, so below. You start on this earthly plane. But they think, as of you, if you're new, or a most of humanity, is that you have to work your ass off to get the physical. That's the lowest, because that's why Earth is connected with pentacles, right? But the other ones, you thought they so they think that. So it's Earth, then air. So that's what you think. It doesn't work like that. The higher you rise, right? Then it's uh, earth, air, water, emotions, because this planet, remember, is of your feeling frequency. That's your emotions. That's a higher realm. That's why cups are up here. That's why the heart is the center in the tree of life, the um, Tiferet, it's called, the center, um, Severot, is called Tiferet, is the heart chakra. It's called um, beauty. All, mo not all of them, most of the um, the pathways are connected to this center focus, which is the heart. Meaning, someone made this tree of life connected to what the natural laws of the planet, really. So the heart, you follow your heart. Like I said, there's half truths out in the world. Oh, follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart. But you have to, that was when you was born. Then you were programmed or something different. So you are following a program, but listening to scriptures, which are correct. But inside is already programmed or something different. So if it's programmed within you, but you're just listening to something else, you are following the program. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So this is why this is, oh gosh, it's really, I know it's complex, but I have to kind of go into it because of all my videos are trying to explain things more deeply. So you are off this earthly plane, then you think about what to do, and that's what he kind of stays. This is the lowest energetic dense thing. Like I said, you rise in consciousness. That's what the tree of life. To the magician card, the magician card, this is the world card. This is the, you know, the sun cards in the middle, the heart of the matter. Then at the top is the magician card. Behind that, or yeah, behind it is the balance, the uh, justice. This world is for you to be in balance. That's what it wants you to have, a, love, a life of balance. So but, so how you do that is collect all those, let's say, all the alchemical elegant elements you manifest, then you'll have balance in your life. Because your person is staying on the, such as most of humanity, such as you, before you understand this concept, you stay on this earthly plane and think about what to do. You was never supposed to. The thought form was simply so you think about your wants and your desires, then go on to the number one and emotionally invest in that. I want Sophia. I'm going to emotionally, emotions, invest in Sophia because that is the love chakra, right? Emotions. Then wands take action on that love. But people just stay on, oh, think about what to do. Then write down a plan of attack. I'm going to go to work, work 12 hours a day, kill myself, give a little bit here, give a little bit there, give a little bit here. Now, this is why, this is how the uh, principal laws of cause and effects and law of attraction comes into it. Principal laws of co cause and effects is that you trust in. Trust in is trusting inside. Trust in. That's why it's called trust in. You trust in what is inside your internal compass, your intuition, your insight, your inner knowing, all inside, right? Print, another principle law, as within, so without. So you trust in, which is the, um, the, mi the micro, ma micro, microcosmic, the small, 
as without you connect with the macro as within so without which is planets the planets then will which is the law of the of attraction will pull into your reality what is inside that's how it works if you follow the alchemical magic laws of the planet if you stay on the earthly plane thinking about material money thought money thought money thought money without raising into the other um tree of life and to get balance right then that's why you don't things don't show up so what they do what you do what others do is think about little so they give you 10 percent right then they give that person 10 percent then you cuss and moan and bitch and say look Fuck you, matey. You're not giving me enough. So what he does or she does is gives you 100% and you're like, oh, mission, union, I'm together with my person. But then he's like, shit, now I've got to go back and give 100% to the kids. Now I've got to go back and give 100% to mummy and daddy. Now I've got to go and give 100% to the boss. So that's when the shit hits the fan and you think, shit, now I'm not with my person or shit, they're avoiding me or whatever like that, right? That's what happens because they think they have to give little bits because they don't trust in they're staying on that material plane give here give here give there so this is why this shit happens because that's what most think so your person is a prime example and showing up to you how do you get around that how do you get around that you have to just keep trusting you have to keep showing them for example from example because you have to the law of the planet and i I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video. Please watch Cause and Effect. Um, I call it middle ground, right? If you give a little bit, the laws of attraction is like attracts like. This is where they get their logical thought form incorrect. Well, I'm giving 10% air, 10% air, 10% there, 10% there to round up to 100%, right? So I'm giving my all. This is what they think, what you think, what most think before they understand the laws of the planet, my program and the least program. The laws of the planet is like you trust the unknown. You give 100 percent to the thing that love that you love the most. Use your common sense. Common sense is about the earthly realm. That that person isn't taking the piss out of you. How do you know that? Because we've given you a fucking nightmare experience of an ex-partner. So you know when someone shows up as your twin flame who doesn't take the piss out of you, who gives to you 100%, who's trying to do best for you, for you to recognize that. That is why you have to give 100% so they recognize it. But I state, as most of planet Earth and most of others, as of you, before you know this program, know the laws of the planet, this is what they do. I've had a fucking nightmare experience with my ex, so you know what? I'm not giving you jack shit. I'm holding back. That's what most do. Oh, I've had a shitty job, you know, so um, I'm going to try to get a good one and I'm not going to give my all because I gave my all to the last, to the last job and they took the piss out of me. Oh, I'm not going to buy you anything. I brought my ex a massive, you know, an expensive necklace and she sold it. So I'm not giving you jack shit. That's what most of humanity, this is probably what your person's doing. They're holding back. That is not the law of the planet. Why? I tell you why. Because if I give 100%, regardless of my ex was this nightmare situation, Oh, well, now here's my person, right? I know he's amazing, right? I know, so I'm going to give this person 100%. Then he should see that I'm giving him 100%, then give back 100% to me. Then his environment and my environment, so she so, well, Sophie's doing well, say David's doing well, because he's investing in the laws of the planet, really, from my showing him and his influence, then they should learn from him, and people should learn from me, and they should all give. So this is how the laws of the planet works. So it was intentional that everyone give everyone 100%, then that person will give 100% back. So then that person will follow that person to give 100%, then that person will give 100% back. So everyone would be happy. 
not for you to kill yourself to give 10% here, 10% there. Then they turn up at you fucked and knackered. It was never the intention. The laws of the planet are fucking brilliant if you follow them. If you follow them. The problem is, is that the people like such as us who invest in them, People are so third dimensional, so we are going to get shit because they're not following the laws of the planet. They would prefer us to just keep giving to them. Or it comes to the point so you're pissed off with them, so you fuck them off and you go. That you could literally stand there and say, look at me, I'm not doing nothing hard. I'm giving to you, I'm giving to friends and family, I'm giving to my job, I'm still happy, I'm abundant, I'm not working, killing myself, everyone's happy around me, I just simply follow the laws of the planet, right, they will still work their ass off, they will prefer to convince you to go back to that way and think that you're lucky, that's what they would think, oh well, you're just lucky, oh you've just got an inheritance, oh you're just some, they will make an excuse of why you do it, this is why your person is it so hard that's another reason why it's so hard because most people think like that over like i said the unknown jumping into the unknown so you are here to show them an example now what if they don't change <laughs> what if you're doing it that's where you have to trust once again trust in if you follow your internal compass and they're still do doing what they're doing you have to trust that the universe will make changes. What generally happens is they give you a tower moment. And I said this in the principal law of cause and effect. Then you say, I've given enough you can, and you pull back. Then that will teach that person either to make changes or to fuck off. But you would have got to the point that you've had enough. So you don't care if they fuck off anyway. You really don't. But you won't get to the point unless you give 100%. It was never the intention to give little bits. I promise you that it makes far better sense if everyone just give, then that person will just follow that law and just give, and everyone on this planet would be happy. That is not what you've been programmed to do. So I was talking about the beginning of this video that the people on the subscription list, such as me, are here to show you how it works so most others the old wave or twin flames and spiritual advisors sit here my life is so happy everything is great everything is lovely la 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 that proves that they are not following the laws of the planet because the laws of the planet doesn't work like that it is in a continuation what does that mean that means you will continually get what they class as shit in your life so that you learn, so that you love yourself and follow your wants and desires. So if they're sitting there and say, you know, I've mastered my life, I've, 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 I've balanced out my zing and my zang and all these kind of other fuckeries, so no negative comes towards me, right? That's bollocks. They're not, they, they don't live there then because this planet is off, so you see the negative, so you know the positive. So here's another thing. When you work on yourself to remove all that programming of a negative, it's coming out of you. That's why I said to you when I say about booking David, it's all about the laws of the planet is energy and frequency. So you speak words into the matter, into, so you're getting it out of you. So it proves by this community, if there's someone and you're following on this community and this shit's happening, it means that they are working on themselves because stuff is showing up because we are the teachers to show you look shit happens we are not the other spiritual advisors to say to you oh no namaste i'm not gonna i'm just gonna ignore that i'm not just gonna give positive vibes it doesn't work it doesn't work like that if someone says that they're not working on themselves they're ignoring the laws of the planet and more shit will come so we are showing you that it's what more when more and more stuff shows up and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm working on myself. But all this stuff is coming up is because you're removing the negative. So it's coming out. So it's showing you all that stuff that came into your reality, which was a negative, And you're like, fuck that shit. Fuck off, cunty. You pushed it down. 
So you're actually confronting the negatives that's coming out into your reality. But what it's doing, the more you work on yourself, which is brilliant, the more shit that's coming up. So it's not a bad thing. If you are stating there's no negative, then you're not working on yourself. You're not confronting it. You're not showing people. That's why when I had the stuff what happened with me, I I was like, fine, I don't need to really, it didn't bother me. They knew, I knew the laws of the planet. It was like nothing to me. But they they didn't tell me, well, they did actually. They, them, lot, the collective said I had to do videos to show you. Now I realise so you can see that, you know, you have to not take it as a negative. See things for what they are and then move on. Don't need to go slag off that person. Uh, what happened to me, I could have slagged her off. I didn't slag her off. I made it clear what she was doing was wrong. Then, oh, she's a fucking bitch and she said this and she said that about this person and that person. I just made it clear she was wrong what she'd done compared to the laws of the planet. This is what people don't understand. And this is how you know if you're doing right and when you get to the point that, you know, because you question yourself, have I done wrong or right? If you follow the simple laws of the planet that you are supposed to do by following your insight, if someone is against you, you'll know. You'll know, you see? It's only when you're on the third uh, dimensional plane, uh, a lower a density, is that when you start worrying and you start holding back and doing stuff like that. Even if you've done wrong, you will say, okay, you know, and you move on and you're, you're, you just learn from it. That's it. If someone doesn't justify stuff, then they haven't got an answer for it because they're not confronting it. They're not dealing with stuff. So don't feel bad. I don't want to go off. Don't feel bad if you think you're doing well, then it's not. Because like I said, this new wave, 2020, is not about the old. This is about showing people truly how the laws of the planet works. This is about make, they're making it clear that making the new Twin Flames more stronger. Definitely the strength card is here. The strength card, when you think about that, is the um, empress in the strength card in the Rider Waite tarot deck. The empress is about love. This is about loving oneself because the feminine is in that card as the empress, right? She's holding the, the mouth of the lion. And this strength card was in both of the air and the, uh, and the earth side readings, actually. She's holding the mouth of the lion. To, hold, to, to walk past a fucking lion, I would not do. Let alone go and hold the mouth of the lion. That means having courage. It's having the courage to deal with fucking people, right? That will be saying to you, oh, well, what are you doing? Well, you know, oh, well... Um, what you're saying doesn't make sense and and no it doesn't work like that you know of course you've got to work hard and to get your money and in, in, put your money invest in banks which is illuminati top of the tree banks and religion right totally right i love god when it's you who brings them gives you gives them the money is helping them all this stuff you're going to battle against. That's why she's holding the fucking mouth of the lion to say, don't listen to that shit from your person or other people. Just love yourself and don't listen to the shit of these people. Lying in the jung jungle is people who are, the lion kind of protects the home, the king of their home and the jungle and their, and their, and their ground and their territory. That's third dimensional jungle earth right you're going to be dealing with these people which is an example of your person who are third dimension when we are not here to do that that is one wand the other three unknown alchemical elements is how you manifest we just live off here to experience it so the strength card is very important she also has the lamas gate on top of her head in the that means in illuminated 
That's why the Illuminati are called the Illuminati, because they're the illuminated, meaning they know the esoteric, the hidden, the laws of the planet. I simply state the Illuminati are not really doing anything wrong apart from they're keeping the true laws of the planet from us and giving man-made bullshit laws like TV license, council tax and shit. They just keep the laws of the planet from us. That's why the Illumina, um, the the infinite symbol, which is balance, which is in the tree of life, that's what it means. The yin and the yang, the black and the white, which is on top of the tree of the life, is balanced because the infinite symbol is enlightened being. Love yourself. Stop listening to these fucking stupid people with the third dimensional plane. Then you'll be enlightened, right? It's also connected with the twin flames because I class that as the cord. You can't cut that cord. The, the infinite is in the sky. That lamascate infinite symbol means forever. You'll be with your person forever. So learn to deal with this shit. It's also above the magician card because that's the 1111. One, one, one. That's how you get your, um, you manifest your wants and de desires in this reality as above, so be below the magician card on top of the, um, the Kabbalah tree of life as above, so below, reflects that's how you do it on this earthly plane. That's But you need the strength to do that. That's why it's in the strength card. It's also, like I said, once you do that, you have balance in your life. So you think with your perception, you, know, you can't give 100%, but you're giving 100% to everybody. Regardless, it just works out. You just have to trust in the unknown. Hence, the fool's journey is trust in the unknown. So don't think. If you don't know, just allow the universe to do it. It's also, it's about the, bear with, hanged man. It, he doesn't have the infinite symbol, but you think about him in the, the, um, the tarot deck, his head is illuminated meaning thinking is this thinking correctly because most think of the earthly plane he's hanging off the tree and it means taking the tree not from the rooted belief systems change that to the tree of life that is your thought understanding thought form is important correct but thinking correctly not about the thirdly pl plane that's why the head is illuminated. Think about what you're doing. So hopefully this makes sense. I just wanted to do this video as usual. So for when the tough times, because some people, not a lot. And I know there's far more that's gone in the background. That's probably just watching me, but don't come back and ask for an update reading or something like that. I go through it as well. I know what it's like. I've seen it with years with my twin sister as well. It's what it is, because like I said, we have to battle with this. Explaining to them what I've just said now, they will say, lock her up. But it's what it is. They, I tell you, they will prefer to convince you to go back to your old ways than for them to change. That's how bad it is. But you, if you do the work with your person, with you connected with your person, leave it to them to do. They will absolutely get to a point where you will cut off and you won't feel so like you have to keep doing this for your person if it comes to that point. So you have to leave it. Like I said, it's a different way of doing things up in air 2020. And if you're watching me, you're in a 2020 crew. You're fucked. Get on with it. Basically, this is it. So hopefully this has been good for you. If you're watching in the background and this has happened, just book an update. I've got now on my website, I can't even say that word, so I'll say it how it's, it's like a brief outline, but I can't say the word of what it's called, uh, of each description if you're unsure what, um, what update to take, for example, because I've got a couple of update readings and some people, which one's best for me. So go into the link of click here to find out which one is best for you to have an update reading if you so choose. But um, don't worry if the things are going off. It's going to happen all the time. 95% of humanity has 95% of negativity which they suppress and the fact 
that is suppressed is because like when it comes up you don't want to face that shit so you just shove that shit down so you forget it so like i said when you work on yourself like this is a perfect result that's why they're on my subscription list these crew are fucking amazing on my subscription list it is showing you that this shit works because they're working on themselves if you're saying nothing's happening you're avoidance you're avoiding it and just suppressing it you see you it's not even a confrontation you get to the point where me when there's stuff happens and you think it's a negative and you're like oh no this is supposed to be and you just get on with it do you see others think they hold back because they have shit you're not supposed to you're here to teach people it's just learning and shit recognize that with your person over there they will learn from that nightmare rex which they're staying around or the baby's mum that treat them like shit or all the people that they ask for money from that rip them off or don't give to them and you're giving giving 100 percent they will learn because at the moment they're not investing maybe in you because they're thinking well these people don't give to me that person ripped me off and i've done that before in the past and blah 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 they they are supposed to as everyone else will think this person is the one for me because she does give he does give 100 percent. they don't that's what the law of the planet is supposed to be. I'm out. That's the law of attraction. I'm out. Speak to you later.